Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and in this video, I wanted to just spend a few minutes talking about section access or dynamic data reduction within the Click Cloud platform. Now, this topic has been around for a while. In short, it allows you to add data security, either row level or column level security, to your ClickSense apps. Now, we recently just added support for section access for Inside Advisor Chat and I will show that as well. But first, I just wanted to talk about some of the basics of section access. On the screen, you can see I have two browsers, left and right. The left browser is logged in with one session with my ID, Michael Tarallo, and the right browser is logged in with another ID, John Doe. They are accessing the same exact app. However, you can see the data being displayed, in this case, we're looking at row level, is different for each user. So Mike has access to field values, Germany and Spain within country. And John Doe has access to field values, USA and Brazil. So section access has been enabled for this particular app. And when logging in with the appropriate ID, I only see the data values that I'm allowed to see. Now, how is this set up? Well, the owner of the app has access to the data load editor. You can see this case here, John Doe does not. And in the data load editor, there is a section, pun intended, called section access that denotes the security table or the authorization table to link the app and the data values appropriately. So when the user logs in, it only sees the values they have access to. Now this inline script is just used to load the data as part of the app, but this can be any data source where you have your security tables. So as long as it's been set up with the access header, uh, user.email, for example, here, and then the restriction value, in this case, I'm using country. Now it is important to note that I found that in order for this to work, the values I'm linking to have to be capitalized. Uh, if any of you know who are watching this video know the reason for that, please put it in the comments below. That would be appreciated. So here I'm using the upper function within my script to make the value uppercase. And then I put the values that I would like to restrict to here as well in uppercase. So you can see the access level for me is admin and the access level uh, for John is user. Again, a lot of this is in more detail in the help document. So that's all that needs to be done. Now, if you want to see what this looks like and how it works, you can comment out the section access declaration and you can just load the table. And what that's going to do is make the authorization table viewable. And then you can go into the data model viewer. And you can see here that section access has been removed. So you can see now John Doe can see everything and you can see it was like a real time update. But here you can now see the two tables and you can see how they're linked on country and you can see the access and user email accounts. Okay. So this is just a great way to do some uh, troubleshooting, if you will, to kind of see what values are available and how are they going to link up. So I'm going to go back to the data load editor and we're going to comment back, uh, take out the comment for section access and reload. And then you'll see in real time here, John Doe will also update the appropriate values. and then the same for my account. Okay, so that's just a little tidbit on section access and how it works within the cloud platform. Now to support Inside Advisor, so we're opening this up to uh, more enterprises that use section access and maybe have not taken advantage of the conversational analytics piece uh, within the Click Cloud platform. So what I'm gonna do is make both accounts go back to the hub and you can see there's an icon here just because the screen has been narrowed a little bit. It says, uh, ask Inside Advisor, but since I'm doing a side by side, I'm shrinking it up a little bit. So we're going to go into Inside Advisor chat and I'm going to click on apps on both sessions and I'm going to click the section access app for both. And then you could type in questions such as, you know, sales by country, or you can just click on the measures in this case here. And you can see the sales values are different because we have access to different values. Uh, if I click on dimensions, I'm just going to click on uh, country in this case. I'll do the same here as well. And there are our charts. So again, Mike has access to uh, Germany and Spain. 
and John Doe has access to Brazil and the United States. Same app, but this time access through Inside Advisor chat. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments where this video is posted, either on YouTube or the community, uh, and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, other than that, thanks for your time, guys, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.